Hello dear viewers, welcome back to the Odoo 18 Functional Tutorials by Tech Ultra Solutions. In this video, I am going to show you how to manage your manufacturing process using both the shop flow and the manufacturing modules in Odoo 18. We'll focus on processing work orders on the shop floor while handling planning and other tasks in the manufacturing module. In this video, we are going to talk about the shop flow module in Odoo 18. It is a powerful tool designed to optimize and digitize the manufacturing operations. It provides production workers with a user-friendly interface to manage the work orders, track their progress in real time, and perform quality checks directly on the shop flow module. So let's dive into the video. So very first thing we need to do is uh, open our manufacturing module and we'll create a bill of material and to that uh, product we'll assign the work centers. So here in the products menu we have an option of bill of material. Here click on new to create a new one. Here I'm creating a wooden table as my product. The first component for my product wooden table would be my wooden planks. Next up we'll have screws. Then we need table legs. And in the last, we'll add our last component, which is tabletop. So here you can attach any document if you have for the product attachments. Here you have the quantities. Here you can mention the quantities of the components that would be required for this uh, product. So once done, you can simply save this bill of material and the bill of material is created. Now we'll assign the operations for this particular bill of materials. So we'll uh, add the operation and the work center. If you want to create a new work center, you can uh, simply go to the configurations and here you have an option to create a new work center. So I'm just adding the operation here. So my very first operation would be cutting. I've already created a work center for it as cutting station so I just add cutting station to this particular operation click on save and new next up I'm going to add the operation as assembling where I would add the work center as assembly line now the last operation which I'm going to add is the finishing so your my work center would be my finishing station and close it so in this way i have added the three operations and the work centers for it the cutting assembling and finishing now once we have added the components and we have added the operations to this particular product here from the internal link of the product we need to assign for this particular product so here in the inventory tab here we need to assign the routes for it which is the MTO and the manufacturer. So by these routes when we will create a sales order for this particular product, a manufacturing order would be triggered. So we'll save this and now we'll just move to our sales module to create a sales order for this. Here is the new click on new to create a new sales order here we need to add the customer once adding the customer here we need to add the product which is our wooden table so add the wooden table here you can add the quantity so I'm adding 5000 as the unit price for this product wooden table we'll just simply confirm the sales order and uh, here you can see a manufacturing smart button is there which shows that the manufacturing order for this particular product wooden table is triggered so this is the manufacturing order here you can find a smart button for the shop flow which directly uh, redirects you to the shop flow module for this particular manufacturing order so we'll just uh, click on the shop flow 
button and uh, this is the shop floor dashboard here you can find the different work centers the assembly line the cutting station the finishing station so the very first work center or the operation which we have given is the cutting station so we'll just move to our cutting station and uh, here you can see the manufacturing order the operation is cutting the product which we have added is the wooden table one unit and uh, here is you can register for this production here you can find the unit here we have a small icon where we can find the different operations here you can have an option for the scrap here if you want to add any component you can add it by clicking on this if you want to open this particular manufacturing order you can open it by clicking here if you want to move to the work center and edit any particular details in that work center you can click it and simply edit that and if you want to update the instructions here you have an option for that too if you want to block this particular work center for any reason you can block it and you can add a reason for it also and if you want to create the quality alert which is the quality checks for this particular work center directly you can uh, click here and create a one I'll just show you how by clicking on this this is the wizard which will get open and here you can uh, give a title for this quality alert and uh, you can add the description for it here you can find the team that the main quality team is going to do the quality alert so by adding all these details here is the corrective actions if you want the preventive actions if you want to add any particular instruction for the main quality team you can add it here in the different descriptions and you can simply save it so a new quality alert will be created in the quality module so in this way we can give the quality alerts for this particular workstation or this particular operation so you can simply uh, click on this button and uh, here you can see the cutting station the operation has been started and here is the time calculated for this particular operation so here you can find that Michelle admin is working on this particular station you can add the another operator by clicking on this add operator and you can also assign a particular uh, person to the workstation that he is only going to work there so you can add the operator and uh, according to the operators the work centers will be showcased here so if we have done with the cutting we can just simply uh, make it as mark as done so this work center would be vanished next up we have our assembly line so we will simply start this also you can measure or you can track the time for it and once done you can simply mark this as also done so in the last we have a finishing work center where all the finishing part of the product would be done so you can simply start it and uh, once done you can simply uh, mark this as also done and you can close the production for this particular wooden table so once done we'll just move back to our manufacturing so in this way we have processed our work orders or say work centers in the shop flow module here you can find the overview for this particular operations here is the cutting station assembly line finishing station and the person who was appointed for this operation you can have a look at the overview so that the total cost for the components is a uh, calculated here the total cost of operations and the total cost of components then we'll move back to our manufacturing order here you can see the product moves so once we are done with the manufacturing order we can quickly move to our sales module and uh, here we will go to the delivery smart button and uh, once our wooden table is manufactured now so here you can see the product availability is available as we have just manufactured our product so we can quickly validate this 
so in this way the delivery is validated and the print table is delivered to our customer so next up we'll just create an invoice for our customer and we'll just confirm it sales order you can find different smart button which is the manufacturing invoices we have just created and the delivery which we have just validated for our product so in this way we can process our work orders in the shop floor and the manufacturing module so by combining the manufacturing and the shop flow modules, Odoo allows you to streamline your production processes, ensuring the better communication and efficiency across your teams. So thank you for watching and we hope this helps you optimize your manufacturing operations.